Hello AI enthusiasts. What I'm going to tell you today will forever change how we use AI. Sam Altman just dropped a bomb. And no, it's not just the announcement of GPT-5. It's something much bigger. While the tech world is still discussing Gemini Ultra and Claude, OpenAI has been secretly working on something that overshadows everything else. Before I reveal the explosive details, this one tweet from Sam Altman even left Google directors speechless. Stay until the end, because at minute seven, I'll show you exclusive information that no one has discovered yet. And that could completely change how you'll work in the future. The tweet that shook the tech world came completely unexpected. Sam Altman wrote, we want to better communicate our planned roadmap and significantly simplify our product lineup. Sounds harmless, right? But what followed surprised even experienced tech experts. Not only will GPT-5 be free for everyone, OpenAI is planning a complete revolution of their entire product line. And here's where it gets really interesting. The current system with GPT-4, the O series models, and all the different versions, history. Imagine having a personal AI assistant that automatically knows which tool it needs for which task. That's exactly what OpenAI is planning. But now comes the bombshell. GPT 4.5, known internally as Orion, will only be the beginning. Sam Altman revealed, next we'll release GPT 4.5, the model we internally call Orion, as our last model without thought chain processing. Why is this so significant? Because it shows that OpenAI is taking a completely new path in AI development. The technical details behind it are fascinating. While existing models like GPT-4 work linearly, GPT-4.5 will be the first AI that truly thinks in networks. Imagine how your brain works. You don't think in straight lines, but constantly connect different information with each other. That's exactly what GPT-4.5 will be able to do. A former Google developer told me in conversation, it's like upgrading from a calculator to a real mathematician. The calculator just gives you answers. The mathematician understands the problem. And this is where it gets interesting. GPT 4.5 won't just process information. It will truly understand it. This means if you're planning, for example, a complex marketing strategy, the AI won't just make suggestions. It will understand how different aspects are connected and what impact each decision will have. But this is just the beginning. OpenAI is planning something even more revolutionary, the complete integration of O3 technology into GPT-5. For everyone wondering what this means, O3 is OpenAI's most advanced reasoning system which until now was only available to selected partners. An insider from the tech industry revealed to me, what sets O3 apart from other AI systems is its ability to break down complex problems into smaller manageable subtasks, exactly like an experienced project manager. The integration of this technology into GPT-5 means that even the free version will have capabilities that were previously only available to large enterprises. Imagine you're working on a presentation, GPT-5 won't just be able to generate text, but will also understand which visual elements work best, how the structure can be optimized, and even which emotional triggers work best with your target audience. A particularly interesting aspect that many missed, Sam Altman mentioned in his tweet, the standard intelligence setting. What does this mean specifically? An open AI employee who wished to remain anonymous, explain to me, think of an engine with different power levels. The standard version will be more than sufficient for 90% of all tasks, but for more complex tasks, Plus and Pro users can unlock additional horsepower. The technical implementation behind this is brilliant. GPT-5 will be an adaptive system that intelligently distributes its resources. When you write a simple email, it runs in energy saving mode. But when you're working on a complex coding project, it automatically ramps up performance. It's like having an assistant who knows exactly when they need to put in more effort and when a quick response is sufficient. The integration of deep research will be particularly exciting, a feature that hardly anyone had on their radar until now. Imagine you're researching for an academic paper. GPT-5 will not only be able to collect information, but also recognize connections that might have escaped even experienced researchers. It will recognize patterns in data that are invisible to the human eye. The timing surprised everyone. While GPT 4.5 is supposed to come in a few weeks, OpenAI plans to release GPT 5 in weeks, months, as Altman cryptically phrased it. A Google director commented, if they've invested 10 times the resources and still only call it 4.5, that shows how revolutionary GPT 5 must be. But here comes the part that really no one has discussed yet. The impact on the education sector and small businesses will be enormous. Example, a small marketing agency could suddenly perform analyses that were previously only possible 
with an entire team of data scientists. A teacher could create individualized learning plans that automatically adapt to each student's pace. Sam Altman made a remarkable statement that many missed. We hate the model picker as much as you do. This shows where the journey is heading, away from complex technical decisions towards intuitive use of AI. Imagine no longer having to think about which model is best for which task. The AI decides this automatically for you. The integration of voice, canvas, and deep research in GPT-5 points to something even bigger, a system that not only understands text, but works multimodally. You could explain a complex project by voice and GPT-5 will automatically create a visual presentation research relevant data, and even suggest optimizations. Before I finish, something else important. This development won't just change the tech world, but will affect each of us. In the next videos, I'll show you how to optimally prepare for this revolution. Because one thing is certain, GPT-5 will fundamentally change how we work, learn, and communicate. Let's talk for a moment about the practical effects that many still overlook. A fascinating aspect is how GPT-5 will handle different file formats. Unlike existing models, it will natively understand PDFs, images, audio files, and even video formats. A developer working closely with OpenAI explained to me, imagine you upload a two-hour meeting video and GPT-5 not only creates a perfect summary, but also automatically extracts all action items and creates a structured project plan. The integration with existing workflow tools will be revolutionary. Microsoft, one of OpenAI's main investors, is already working on deep integration into the Office suite. Imagine you're working in Excel and GPT-5 automatically recognizes patterns in your data, suggests optimizations, and can even run complex what-if scenarios. An Excel expert who got to test the beta version told me, it's like having a data scientist, business analyst, and statistician combined in one tool. The development in the area of creative work will be particularly exciting. GPT-5 won't just generate text, but will also understand how different creative elements interact. Example, you're working on an advertising campaign. GPT-5 will not only be able to write text, but also understand which visual elements work best, what emotions they evoke, and how they resonate with your target audience. A kind of creative director with artificial intelligence. Another aspect that has hardly been discussed, GPT-5's ability to learn from feedback, not in the sense of traditional machine learning, but through intelligent understanding of user preferences. If you regularly prefer certain types of answers or specific formatting, GPT-5 will understand these preferences and automatically take them into account. An OpenAI developer compared it to a personal assistant who better understands how you work over time. The security aspects, of course, cannot be neglected. OpenAI has developed a complex system they call the ethical reasoning layer. This layer ensures that GPT-5 is not only technically competent, but also incorporates ethical considerations into its decisions. Example, if you ask for help developing an algorithm, GPT-5 will automatically check if this algorithm could be discriminatory and suggest fairer alternatives. Let me know in the comments which aspects of GPT-5 interest you the most. I'll answer the most interesting questions in the next video. If you like this video, give it a like and subscribe to the channel. And if you activate the bell, you'll be notified when we upload a new video. Hope to see you next time. Until then, stay real.